guys, long time no see. I know it has been a really long time since we have uploaded on More With Moros. And a quick little side note, you guys will probably hear the kids in the background. I am distracting them currently with Play-Doh so that I can film and do this video. But we mainly stopped uploading on here to mainly focus on my main channel, Brittany Morrow. I've always really enjoyed cooking, cleaning, organizing, projects, makeovers, you name it. I love that, that is to my core. That's a lot of Play-Doh. What color is that? A uh, blue. Blue. That's right. Let's see how long I could distract him with this Play-Doh. As you guys can tell from the title of this video, this is going to be a mini living room makeover. This company, Chitta. You guys know already, I am terrible at pronouncing things. I'm not going to even hide that anymore. The couch brand is actually called Cheetah. So I just wanted to clarify that and thank them for sponsoring today's video. I think I'm saying that correctly. Reached out to us and wanted to send one of their couches for us to try and share with you guys. Frank and I were actually looking to getting a new couch anyways because as much as we have loved this couch and we've had it for close to five years now, it it's come to the point where we just needed something a little bit more smaller, a little bit more intimate. It's just not as versatile as we want a couch to be. And it takes up a big majority of our living room. So when they reached out to us about their couches and how versatile they are and durable, it was basically a no-brainer. I was like, yes, we, we need it. We definitely need it. And you guys will see why as we go through this video and I show you guys the couch. And I'm gonna actually put it together by myself because Frank is not here. Just me and Scarlett and Fletcher, the older three, are with their dad for a week for fall break. So this will be interesting because even though I don't have all five kids, Scarlett and Fletcher can definitely be a handful on their own. So let's see how much they will allow me to get done today. Thank you. Make the best ice cream Play-Doh too. First things first, this is like I said, a mini makeover. Not going too crazy because basically we're just taking this couch out and then putting the cheetah, not cheetah, the couch in here. But the living room is definitely gonna get somewhat of a makeover because I feel like it's going to change how our living room looks completely. And it's gonna make the space so much bigger. But let me just go ahead and show you so we can do a comparison of a before and after. So here's an overview of the living room and like i said we love this couch so much but you can probably tell right off the bat how big it is and this is actually a really big space this living room but it just looks smaller because of how big this couch is nothing wrong with the couch we probably will end up keeping the couch because i'm just going to move it to the front room or we might sell it i don't know we'll decide i think we're just looking for something more versatile something that we can change around and you guys will see why the other couch, the new one, is just gonna be way more practical for our family. So actually the first thing that I'm gonna do, well, I gotta clean up all the toys because Fletcher, even though we have a playroom, he still loves to bring all the toys in here. So I'm gonna clean that up. I'm gonna actually scoot this couch back and I'm going to clean it, clean this rug. I feel like I have to do this once a month because it gets dirty. Yes, Mari's gotta clean the rug between the dogs and the kids. It gets dirty so that's what the plan is gonna do that first and then we're gonna open and reveal the couch first things first nothing motivates me more than listening to a little too and it's still dirty. There's still dirt coming out of it and I'm having to empty it into the toilet. It is, I did not realize how dirty that rug is. So I am now going to, I probably will have to go over it one more time, but I'm going to now start clearing some stuff in the playroom. Since I'm gonna be moving the couch over here, uh, Frank already measured it, it's going to fit. I'm gonna have to move some stuff around and I'm actually going to purge a lot of the toys in here, but I'm gonna save that for a different day because I'm still, I'm still on cleaning the rug and I've already been doing this for like over an hour now. So we'll save that for a different day. I just need to move some stuff around so that I can be able to fit the couch in here.
the next day after moving the old couch from the living room to in here, all the mopping that I did. I, I also ended up cleaning this rug and the one in the kitchen and then the one in the living room five times. I didn't do this one five times, but that one I cleaned five times. Let me show you guys really quick how clean it is. Dun, da, da, da. Before, it was like a layer of like dusty dirt all over the rug. And I did this, like I said, five times and each time it just was dirty every single time but let me show you how clean this rug is again it looked like it had like a layer of dirt on it that's clean and then this is also clean so here's how the couch looks in the playroom it's definitely a tight squeeze but you guys i don't know how this ended up happening but it ended up fitting perfectly it's close to this wall goes all the way to this wall maybe a couple inches right here to be able to move the curtains and then lines up perfectly with this cabinet right here so i ended up putting fletcher's train table in the middle and then the cubicle i ended up turning it upright and i just need to go through all of these toys but everything ended up fitting in here and i was debating on whether it's going to stay in here or we are going to sell it after hanging out in here because i didn't have a couch in here yet i really like how cozy it feels like let me come in here like sitting in here being able to watch the kids play it just feels really really cozy on to more important things i'm excited mainly for our new couch and i was gonna wait until frank got back from his trip to have him put it together i was like no 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 I don't need a man. I can do this myself. Maybe we'll see. Let me change that. Let me attempt to do it myself. So I brought all of these boxes in, as you guys saw, which was a struggle, but I got it done and I got a good workout out of it. Um, but I kind of lined everything. I don't know how I'm going to arrange things in the end, which you guys will see that this couch in particular, you can change it however you want anyway. So we'll figure that out later. Have an ottoman. The right seat and back rest, armless chair, another ottoman, armless chair, left seat and back rest, and then the arms. So we're gonna we're gonna start putting this together, okay? All right guys, so as I'm starting to take the couch out of the boxes and put it together, I wanted to let you know a little bit about Cheetah Living and their company. Their mission is to make stylish and comfortable furniture accessible to everybody with options for all budgets. So first off, right off the bat, immediately fell in love with the company. And they have an assortment of modern designs ranging from farmhouse to contemporary, so definitely a style for everyone. And like I mentioned before, our old couch has served its purpose over the years but we wanted something new to be able to change up our living room with something that's more versatile. Our couch is not versatile at all, but with the cheetah couch, you're able to change it up and that was very important to us. And at the same time, we didn't want to have to sacrifice comfort. And with cheetah's modular sofas, which I forgot to mention, we have the Delaney six piece modular sofa chase. Their sofa frame is padded with high density foam and topped by loose cushions. So not only is it soft, but the back cushions are reversible and the arm pillows are padded with a soft blend of fiber. And listen, comfort is always gonna be one of my priorities, but also I need something that's durable, especially for five kids and their couches are definitely ideal for busy homes. Their sofas are actually engineered for homes with lots of activities, so their fabrics are super durable and they take a good beating from overuse and continue to look new, which I can tell from our old couch that we have definitely put it to good use, which is what you want from a couch, but I also wanted to continue to have it look new. And speaking of their fabric itself, every component of their fabrics has been tested for harmful substances and the fabrics are harmless for human health, which is most important, especially if you have pets and kids. And the last thing that I wanted to touch on is that the seats do not slide apart, which I love because that got so aggravating with our last couch. They have strong metal connectors that come with each seat to keep different seats together from bottom, creating a connected couch that doesn't slip or slide apart. And they have non-slip legs as well. So you don't have to worry about the couch sliding, especially if you have wood floors. It is another few days from the last 
clip that you guys saw and that's because I was waiting for our coffee table to come in to kind of tie in this mini makeover a little bit more but I want to give you an overview of how the couch looks absolutely love it I feel like it has definitely opened up our living room so much more than it was before with the other couch we have all of this space over here and I love these two chase because we can also change it we can move it closer if we want to that's what I love about this couch I know I've already talked about that one thing I forgot to do was put the connecting pieces on so Frank did that so they weren't sliding anyways because of the rubber bottom but just in case he went ahead and put those connecting pieces on there this is the connecting pieces that I'm talking about right here so I will spare you from watching me assemble another piece of furniture so so in three, two, one, we will have a coffee table. It's time to finally reveal this mini living room makeover. Here's how it turned out. I know I've already shown you an overview of the couch, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys again because I added a couple new things in here. I had this tray, I've actually had it for at least a few years now. So I put that on there, I got this new vase from Target as well as the stems. I wanted these stems to match the fall pillows that I already had in here before. All of these pillows are from Target. And then I put this throw blanket right here just to make it a little bit more cozy. That's also from Target as well. The lamp and the plant I moved over here, but I'm even thinking about getting rid of the lamp or I don't know, finding a new place for it because I don't know how I feel about it being right there with the plant. Let me know what you guys think because I don't know if I want to put it over here by itself because now we have all of this open space. The chair that was right here before is gone. So now we have this open space. Actually, let me show you guys what the living room looks like from this angle because you can see how much more open, like even this area right here because the other couch came to like right there and we only had like a little bit of space to walk through, but it definitely made everything look so much more open and spacious than it did before. The other couch just closed everything off and now it's just closed off the front room, even though I love the side. So I quickly just wanted cozy. to say overall, we have absolutely loved our new living room and space. Even though we had set up the front room, the kids prefer to be in the living room, watching their tablets, playing. I think just cause it just feels super cozy and they love how comfortable the couch is. Also, I wanna let you know that Cheetah Living is giving you guys 15% off the same couch that we have. Just make sure to use my code Brittany15 and I'll make sure to leave all the details below in the description as well. But everything else I kept the same and I just love it and when we turn the fireplace on, it is extra cozy in here. But yes, you guys definitely check out Cheetah furniture. I know I've raved already about the quality and why I love this couch so much. We actually haven't put anything in here yet, but I love that we have an option for storage. That would be a great place to store extra pillows and blankets. Look, I'm already thinking having more room for pillows and blankets, even though I have enough. Definitely go check them out. I'll be leaving a link down below as well as the link to this exact couch. It is called Delaney. Love it so much. It also comes, I think, in one other color as well. I could be wrong, but again, I'll leave all of that information down below for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this mini living room oh, as I'm tripping over the coffee table. Thank you guys so much for watching this mini makeover. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what other content you like to see. If you missed this channel, if you didn't miss it, just give me all the feedback, okay? Constructive criticism, whatever you want to leave, leave it down in the comments and I will be watching out and responding to comments when this video goes up. Thank you guys so much again and I will see you in our next video. Bye guys.